Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to rig a character in Blender even if you know nothing about rigging. And the reason is because we're going to be using a built-in tool in Blender called Rigify. So essentially you just line that up with your character and it generates the rig for you. You don't need to know anything about rigging. So this is just an Adobe Mixamo character that I'm going to be demonstrating with. But you can use whatever character you want. Um, you can see over here just how fun that is. And this is going to be in Blender 4.3, so it's nice and up to date for you. So if you want to learn how to, yeah, rig any human character you have with this sort of awesome built-in rig that's really professional, um, let's jump in and I'll show you how to do this. Definitely subscribe, give a like, and check out some of our other content as well. So you can rig any kind of human character you want. My recommendation though is that you have it kind of flagged out with a T pose. That's just gonna make things a little bit simpler. If your arms are a little bit more down towards the side than mine, that doesn't really matter too much. But more or less, this sort of pose is very handy, okay? So this character here is not mine. I just got it off of adobemixamo.com. You can get free stuff on there. Go ahead and check it out. But just find any character you wanna work with, whether it's your own or one that you found online. And once you have it in Blender, there's something you want to make sure first. You want to go over to Edit. Then you want to go to your Preferences. And under your Add-ons, you want to go here to Search and type in Rig. And you should see an option called Rigify. Now, you want to go ahead and enable that by ticking on it. Mine is already enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and not tick that, but you should do that if it isn't. And then you can close this window. And um, once your character is nice and centered in your world scene, Make sure your 3D cursor is also in the middle so you can get your placement right in the middle. Then you can go Shift A and now if you go over to your armature options, instead of just seeing the single bone, you can also see this um, Rigify Meta Rigs. Now the one that you can sometimes use is the human. Now this one I'm not gonna use today. It's a little bit more extra bones, more face bones, more hand bones, but the thing here with it is that the same principle that I'm about to show you applies to this one. So for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the basic option and I'm gonna go to the basic human. And with the basic human here, with it um, active, in my case, my character is bigger. So I can either scale the character down, which I don't want to, because I'm happy with the scale. So I'm just gonna select my rig and I'm gonna go S and scale it up. For now, I'm just gonna enable the X-ray up here. And I want to scale my rig so the shoulders kind of roughly line up with the shoulders of the character. And I'll turn off my X-ray for now. And because I scaled it in object mode, I'm going to go Control A with it active and I'm just going to apply that scale. Also, if you want to actually see through here, like I said, you could use the X-ray up here, but I prefer to with the rig active. Go over to this little green guy under the object data properties. And then just go down to the viewport display option and click on in front. That way we'll see through, it doesn't matter what sort of mesh is in front of the bones. So if this is now active, we're gonna go over to our edit workspace. And we can either do this individually on both sides. I prefer to enable the X mirror, since this is a symmetrical character, makes sense. And now if we make a move on one side, it updates on the other side. So I'm gonna move this um, bone here on, on the end, which is the hand bone, and I'm gonna kind of drag the tip out and place it over here. Then I'm gonna grab the middle here, which is the elbow, and drag it up. And then this is the clavicle bone, which I'll move down, move this in a bit, and then kind of line this up with the arm. It's really that simple. I mean, it's pretty, pretty much intuitive. You can see as it looks, that's kind of how it should be in place, right? You can kind of think about the bones in your own body. And then I'm gonna go into my top orthographic view, and I just need to move this forward a bit. The hand obviously needs to move here. And if you did the more advanced human meta rig that I mentioned, you would have had the finger bones here as well. Once again, it'll be the exact same principle in that case. So, you know, you'd come in here and you'd actually, you know, align all of the finger bones. But for now, like I said, I'm just demonstrating with the simple version. So once you have it lined up that way, let's now go to the legs. In this case, I need to move mine up just a little bit. So I'm gonna select these bottom bones, move them to the side a bit. Um, I'm gonna grab the kneecap here. And for my character, I can see here in the side view, I need to move it up a little bit. Make sure to never have it too back or right in the middle. You always want that just a little bit more forward. Then over here, I can see my toe bone needs to be a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna stretch it out. The ankle is roughly in place for me here, so I'm gonna just kind of leave it where it is. And then this is the lower leg bone. This little bone down here, by the way, is gonna be generating the IK bone, so you can just kind of leave that at the base. That should be fine as well. Okay. 
So for my character here, I can see the hips. I probably just need to bring them out just a little bit more. I'm kind of bringing this down. Like I said, this is gonna vary depending on what character you're doing. But you can see more or less that should already kind of be in place. Obviously these are the spine, spine bones and then this is the chest bone, the bigger one here in the middle. They're all kind of all right already for my character, so I won't adjust them too much. I'll just grab these bones here, just bring them in a bit. But definitely what we need to work on is just a head bone. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the head bone. I'm gonna go into my right orthographic view and I'm gonna go G and move it back a bit. And I'm gonna grab this top knob and kind of move it like so. So this is the head bone. And then these two bones underneath are gonna be for the neck. So I'll kind of drag this knob down. I'll move this one back and grab this and kind of move that back. And more or less, I want that kind of place where my neck's gonna be. Now, because my character has this hair, I'm just gonna go into X-ray and I can kind of see where the neck outline is. And I want these bones here more or less in line with the middle of that neck. And then the base of the head needs to kind of be where the top of the neck is and the bottom of the head is. Pretty simple. And I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my X-ray. And here we can see this is what we have. So once you have that all set up, you can go over into object mode again. And this is where it gets really simple. All we have to do is select this placement of bones. We're gonna go over to our object data properties for the bones, little green dude over here. Just scroll down and you should now see a generate rig option, which you can click on. And boom, just like that, it's generated a rig. Now in some cases you might get an error that pops up and there might just be slight misalignments on the bones. So just go in and make slight little twigs. It'll usually tell you what bone is the issue and you can go ahead and fix it. But that doesn't often happen. So in this case, it was fine. But I'm just letting you know about that. So now I have these um, bones, but how do I actually connect them to the character? So let's just actually start by selecting the original meta rig, which is this one. Let's just press M and move it to a new collection and call it just junk. You can also delete it if you wish, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just turn it off for the viewport over here. And then we have this rig over here that's been generated. And for me, I'll just drag it into my main collection. Doesn't matter where you have it, but this rig here, we won't now want it to work with our character. So with it active, just simply go into your pose mode. In fact, we probably don't even need to go into the pose mode. I used to do that the old way in Blender, but now if we come over here to the um, outliner here, and we can see the bone collection. Um, just kind of drag it up so we can see all the bones here, right? And we wanna come here and just turn all of these off. So I'm just clicking and dragging, just turning all of these off, all the way down to the root. And we just wanna enable the deformation bones, DEF, okay? I'm also gonna come down to the viewport display, just enable in front, just so we can see. And now I'm gonna select my character. I'm gonna hold and shift and select these deformation bones. And I'm gonna go Control P and I'm gonna go with automatic weights. And now it's parented to these deformation bones. And what we can do now is make sure to select this rig. We can go um, back over to our object data properties under the bone collection here. Just make sure to now come here and turn off the deformation. And then everything from the root upwards, just click and drag holding in the mouse and enable it. These are all of our control bones. Okay, don't enable the ORG, the MCH, and the DEF bones. Okay, so now we can select our rig. We can go over into pose mode. And now if you actually grab some of these controls, so for example, I'm gonna grab this over here. Now I can move the character. How cool is that? I can actually grab the foot here and move that up. And so this doesn't look too overwhelming. I'm just gonna come back here, scroll down, and I'm just gonna get rid of the in front option just so I can see these controllers. And you can see here, this is now so well done, right out of the box. And even if you know nothing about rigging, it's generated all of these controls for you. So you can grab each one of them. I'm not gonna go through each and every control, but they're pretty self-explanatory. I mean, obviously the ones near the hands and feet, you can tell they move the arms and the legs. Um, you can grab these ones on the knee and kind of like have this sort of control. Um, you can rotate the shoulders with this one. Um, this is a very, very professional rig built right into Blender. You can kind of control the hips. It's just a really, really fun thing to play around with. And it's gonna really help with the animation process. So yeah, if you're a beginner, try this out. You'll really enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Give a like, subscribe, 
and check out some of my other content.